This is an introductory lesson on how to digitize using a scanned image. Sometimes your customers bring you artwork that traditionally we cannot scan and vectorize. For example, we may get a colored bitmap as you can see on the screen. Today we will show you how to create a vectored image using this scanned image as a template. First of all, we need to open up the object manager. Now, we are going to be using this scanned image as a template. However, drawing around the colored image is, is a little difficult, so what we need to do is go in and go into wireframe. Next, we need to go over to the object manager and create a new layer. We will name this layer, say, Vector. Press Enter. Now, when we're digitizing around the logo, we need to make sure that the logo is not, is not active in the drawing, so we will turn it off. We do this by clicking on the pencil tool in the object manager beside the logo layer. Now, you select the vector layer and we'll start digitizing. To start digitizing, we're going to use the Bezier tool, which we find over here on the left side of our toolbar. Sometimes you may want to zoom, or zoom in on the image. However, during, with this image, it's fine to be digitizing from this level. So I'm going to start. So we'll click here, click here, click here, 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 and so forth as we go along. We're just following the contour of the, the logo. Don't be afraid if you're off a little bit because we will adjust that soon. On the end here you notice how I joined up the last two nodes. Next, we need to go to our Node Edit tool. Click on that. You'll notice that now we have a yellow dashed line, meaning that that actual contour is selected. Holding left mouse, left mouse button down, draw a box around the image. Now all the nodes are selected. You notice that our toolbar has changed up here now. I'm going to turn all these straight lines. We know it's a straight line because this line is grayed out into curves. Now, click on the desktop. Move over to this line here. Notice how the how the cursor has a little curved uh, object beside it, which means that this line is a curve. So I'm going to hold my left mouse button down. And I'm going to drag this up to follow the contour. Again, if I want, I can move it back and forth to where I want to go. If I want to adjust the point a little closer, I may zoom in on it. For example, let's zoom in here. And you see we may want to move this node over. So I click here, and I can move this node over. Again, if I want, I can move over and up and up. And again, I may want to move this node a little bit more. If I press the F3 key, I get my last zoom. Now the image looks a lot like what we have as far as our scanned image goes. Let's turn the logo off, and there's our drawn image. To finish it off, we could go back to our Bezier tool again and we can just digitize the inside circle. And if we want to clean that up, we zoom in on it. As you can see, this is not close to what I drew, but it's not a big deal because I can drag it around wherever I want. You notice I didn't make these curves because this is more like a tri triangle, the inside part of this logo. F3 back out. Turn the logo off. There's my finished drawing. Click on my pick tool. Deselect. Finished. 